Let's see the demo of before insert business rule. In this demo, we are going to perform some actions before we insert a record in a table or before we insert a record in a database of a table. Okay. For the demo, we are going to use incident table. Okay. And for the use case, we are going to assume that there are two employees X and Y who are working in the same company. Okay. And X is unable to raise an incident for certain reasons. So X calls Y employee for raising the incident on behalf of X employee. Okay. And once the Y employee raised the incident for X employee, then we have to get the Y employee email in description so that the incident team will get to know that this incident is raised on behalf of caller. Okay. So let's perform this demo. For the demo, we have created X employee user and Y employee user and both the users has admin role so that they can get the access to incident table and Y employee will be creating the incident for X employee. But before the incident is being saved to the database of incident table, we have to get the Y employee email ID that is this email ID and we have to put the email ID into the description of the incident. Okay, so this is our demo. Now let's start creating the business rule for this. For creating the business rule, what we have to do is that we have to open the business rule list. Okay. How we can do that is that either we can open the business rule from the form or you can always go to the incidents list. So we are going to open the list incident dot list. Okay. Now we are going to click on columns options and configure business rules. Why we are opening a business rule from the list or form of incident because once we click on new now you will see that the table is auto populated and it is stating incident okay and that's why we open the business rule from the list or from the form of incident so that the table gets auto populated okay and one more thing you can always do is that you can always open the incident form in the new tab okay so in the filter navigator type incident dot form why we are doing is that to get the backend name of the fields okay so if you don't know the backend name of certain fields you can always open a form of incident in a new tab and right click on the label of a field and you will see the backend name here okay so let's start creating our business rule now we are going to give the name to the business rule the name will be get logged in user email ID okay check the advanced checkbox and in when to run section when will be before insert checkbox will be selected no filter conditions no rule conditions as of now okay go to advanced section and in the advanced section in the condition field we are going to check the condition if the caller is not equals to currently logged in user okay because then and then only we can confirm that the incident is raised on behalf of caller. Okay, so we are going to check the condition here. Firstly, we are going to zoom it. Okay, in the conditions field, we are going to type current dot caller underscore ID is not equals to the currently logged in user. So how we can get the currently logged in user id using the glide system object gs dot get user id okay so it is comparing the current caller id with the logged in user id if it is not equals then the script is going to run so in the script we are going to write a code to get the logged in user email id and we have to put that email id in the description of the incident okay so now we are going to type the script for that we are going to append the value of description current dot description okay and we are going to use compound assignment operator for that and we are going to make a function call the function which we have not created yet and the function name is get logged in user email 
okay and this particular function will be returning the email of the logged in user okay so we are going to create a function function get logged in user okay so this is our function declaration now we are going to type our code of getting the logged in user email for that we are going to interact with the user table and get the email of the logged in user okay so we are going to type here where gr user equals to new glide record okay and the user table is sys underscore user okay and we are going to add query add query query will be sys id of the current logged in user so how we can get the user sys id of the currently logged in user correct using the glide system object gs dot get user id okay now this will find which is having this particular id after it we are going to run this g r user dot query okay if there is a user gr user dot next okay then we are going to return the email so the backend name of email field is email gr user dot email okay so this is our script for getting the logged in user email id and updating the description of the incident okay so here we will call get logged in user email function and this is our function get logged in user email okay so let's save this business rule okay our business rule is saved now we are going to impersonate as y employee so let's quickly impersonate as y employee now we are going to open the incident form incident dot do okay now we are going to set the caller field to x employee name so we are going to type x and we are going to select our x employee name okay now in the sort description we are going to give the sort description email service is not working okay now we are going to give the description email service is not working since morning okay please help as soon as possible okay and we are going to set the impact to high urgency to high and now we are going to save our incident but before this incident is saved into the database of incident table we have to perform some actions and that action will be performed by the business rule okay and you are going to see that this particular description is being updated with the email id of the logged in user so we are going to save this incident okay now you can see that the email id of the logged in user is being updated into the description of the incident okay right now what is happening is that it is coming up with the description in one line okay but we can change it according to our requirement what we can do is that 
we have to end impersonate okay now we are going to open our business rule okay and here what we can do is that we can include a carriage return so that it will break into new line then append this and here we can type this incident is being based on behalf of caller and this is the email id of the user who has raised the incident okay now if we save this We are going to impersonate Y employee again. Now we have to create a new incident, so we have to open the incident form. So for this, we are going to type incident dot do. Okay, we are going to set the caller to X employee and the description. We have already copied the description. This is our description and this will be our sort description. Okay, now if we are going to save it, you are going to see the update that we have made to business rule appears here. So we are going to save this incident. Okay, now you can see that our description field is being updated okay so that's how you can perform before business rule with insert operation if you like this video do share the videos with others subscribe the channel for more videos like this thank you for watching this video bye bye